today the West Metro Dive Team is out at Chatfield Reservoir and we're out performing a lift operation. We'll put crew members in the boat and run sonar passages back and forth across the surface. There's a airplane fuselage located at the, at the bottom of the spillway and we're gonna lift that up to the surface. We will send a couple divers down to see where we can connect lift bags and start the rigging process. In Colorado lakes, they're blackwater lakes. Generally speaking, you're getting you know, eight to 12 inches of visibility on a good day. There's a lot of debris at the bottom. Once that's kind of kicked up and splashed around, it's, it's just close your eyes and you, you have some, about the same amount of visibility. We need to get the object out of the water. So generally speaking, we'll connect a couple lift bags to the object and then we'll raise that object to the surface and then tow it back and then set up whether it's a tow truck or what have you to, to remove the object from the waterway. We work with law enforcement quite often recovering evidence. It could be for firearms from law enforcement agencies within the area. So much like in a, a structure fire, we're operating in an environment that is immediately dangerous to life and health or an IDLH environment. So anytime we splash divers or go underneath the surface, we're in an IDLH environment, whether that be a training scenario or the real thing. So we have to be prepared. That's why it's important for us to you know, be familiar with our equipment and actually put the, the training evolution scenarios into effect in real time.